In this video, I'm going to show you every video style going viral that LTX Studio offers. So you can save yourself time when choosing which video style to use for your movies, along with understanding how LTX creates consistent characters in these different video styles. Later in the video, I'll give my recommendations for the best video styles and which ones to avoid. There are roughly 60 video styles to choose from as of the making of this video, so let's get started. I'm using ChatGPT to provide me with different prompts that tell a story with a beginning, a middle, and an end. And for this example, I'm going to use LTX Studio's Visualize Your Concept feature because I find when using Create a Story, LTX will rewrite the prompt you use even if you don't want it to. The Visualize option keeps the original prompt but only takes some liberties with fleshing out the character names, all of which can be edited if you're not satisfied before going to the next step. Just make sure to edit the character names before proceeding if you want to change them. Here's all of the created scenes. Now I won't go into how to edit them and all of the things that you can do with making changes to scenes and camera shots because I made a full tutorial all about LTX Studio which I'll put a link to in the description of this video. I'm gonna generate these scenes into a completed movie and I'll show you the result. Here is the lost treasure using the standard video style. A young adventurer finds an old map leading to a hidden treasure. Along the way they face dangerous traps and rival treasure hunters but ultimately uncover the treasure and a hidden truth about their family. Overall, the standard version does a really good job. There's a little bit of morphing within the hands, captures the characters well, they look realistic. You can, of course, extend the scenes further if that's something that you wanted to do. There looks like there's almost a Pirates of the Caribbean kind of vibe. There's this Jack Sparrow character to help the adventurers. The next video style is anime. While LTX created more scenes with frame shots, the characters look slightly different than what was originally created on the previous screen. But let's see the results. This one is called The Forgotten Kingdom. A prince discovers a forgotten kingdom in the woods. They must navigate treacherous politics and ancient magic to reclaim their throne and bring peace to the realm. This anime video style looks really good. There's not much distortion in the characters, but I will admit the characters are not moving that much. It's really just the background scenes that are moving, but overall it's consistent. The next style is comic book. This one is called Space Rescue Mission. Let's see the results. An astronaut receives a distress signal from a lost spaceship. Battling cosmic dangers, they find the ship and its crew, ultimately saving them and discovering a new habitable planet. The style seems to change from scene to scene. Sometimes it looks like a comic book, the other time it looks like a cartoon animation. And if I go back for a second, this is not even cartoon at all. This is, it just looks like a real person of an astronaut walking towards the camera. And then if I jump ahead a little bit, this astronaut that's floating in space has a hand for a foot instead of a foot. The next video style is analog film. I ran into an issue for the first time where LTX couldn't interpret the synopsis that I provided in order to create scenes and put the frames together, it is asking me to do all of the heavy lifting by myself, which defeats the purpose of selecting the visualized style option. And since analog film looks exactly the same as standard or as cinematic video styles, I'm just going to move on to the next one. The next style is fantasy art. Because the movie is about a haunted house mystery, I found it interesting that LTX Studio categorizes the house itself as part of the cast. I think that's pretty neat. But I did run into the same issue again where LTX couldn't convert the synopsis into scenes. This might just be some weird quirk while I'm currently creating all of these videos. And because the art style is distinct, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create the scenes and the frames. So here's the results. This is haunted house mystery. A group of friends spends a night in a haunted house. They uncover its tragic history and appease the restless spirits, turning the house into a place of peace. As I play it back, another thing that's happening is the characters initially that it had created are not the characters that it's showing in the video. And then the other weird thing you might have noticed is there was no music initially for this video. I've been running into a weird quirk where LTX Studio is generating an error message when trying to create the music associated with this. This next style is 3D model, which is supposed to look like Pixar characters, but as you can see, none of these characters look like Pixar at all. But because LTX Studio has a habit of changing things in the final 
product, I'm gonna still move forward with creating this movie because I wanna see if it actually does convert them to 3D models, just like Pixar in the final product. In a future where robots serve humans, one robot gains sentience and leads a rebellion. Through understanding and negotiation, humans and robots find a way to coexist peacefully. LTX did not convert these characters into 3D Pixar style. They look the same as cinematic, they look the same as analog film, and they look the same as standard. And again, there's no music captured, and this morphing of this table looks weird. This next one is Craft Clay. A marine biologist discovers an underwater city. Facing sea creatures and environmental hazards. They bring back evidence to protect the ocean and its mysteries. Okay, so it kept Kraft Clay consistent throughout the video, and I'm glad that the music is back. None of the scenes make any sense, and they don't tie back to the story, so this one could definitely use some improvement, but let's see what the next video style brings. This next style is origami. This one is desert survival. A pilot crashes in the desert and must survive. They overcome natural obstacles and find an ancient civilization bringing back valuable artifacts and new friendships. Okay, so this one seems to be a mix of standard or cinematic and origami. There's clearly human people here, if I play it back. And then at some point, you've got more lifelike human people than there's this guy who is half origami, half. It's like if origami and cinematic had a child and then he grew up into a, a man and he started morphing out of the ground. So uh, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna see what the other video styles bring. This one is line art. Here's Magic Academy. A student at a Magic Academy discovers they have rare powers. Facing jealousy and dark forces, they master their abilities and save the school from a looming threat. So I'm definitely loving how consistent it is scene to scene, but much like some of the other ones, there's not a lot of movement. Some of the scenes have the backgrounds not even generated. It's just the person's face. And then I'm noticing LTX in their videos, they do a lot of googly eyes. Definitely in terms of feedback for improvement is getting the eye motion down packed because I'm noticing uh, over the course of a lot of different videos that are being created, we've got this googly eye effect going on. The next video style is low poly, which looks like a combination of cinematic and origami. So I'm going to skip to the next one. The next is cyberpunk, which looks like cinematic or standard, so I'm still gonna move on. This next style is neon punk. Here is Dragon Rider. A young farmer discovers a dragon egg, raising the dragon in secret. They must protect it from hunters and ultimately ride it to save their village from invaders. It does a great job with the color aesthetic, which I'm assuming is what it is meant for this particular video style. But in terms of the characters, looks like cinematic, looks like analog, looks like standard, and all of the other ones we've been talking about. So this one is film noir. This is the alien encounter. A scientist makes contact with an alien race. Misunderstandings lead to conflict, but through communication, but through communication, they establish a peaceful exchange of knowledge. Definitely got the googly eyes going on and there's a little bit of morphing, but I'm a little bit biased towards this one because I just like the film noir genre in general. But really the aesthetic is no different than cinematic or some of the other ones I've been mentioning throughout the video. This next one is pixel art. This is Jungle Expedition. An archeologist finds a clue to a lost civilization in the jungle. They face dangerous terrain and wildlife, discovering the city and its secrets which they share with the world. I'm loving the music. I'm loving how it ties it all together. I would not call it pixel art though. Definitely would not call it that. This looks more like cartoon or potentially even the line art one. This one is fairy tale. Not gonna go forward with it because it looks like a bunch of the other video styles. And it's the same thing with the video style dystopian. I mean, this is <laughs> this is really becoming a habit where a lot of the styles are overlaid. I'm not sure why LTX Studio is adding so many styles at this point because a lot of them feel like they're the same. This next style is manga. And right off the bat, I can see a mix of character types 
where some of them look like manga, but other ones don't. I'm still gonna move forward with generating the video to see what happens. Here's the escape room. A group of friends is trapped in an escape room that becomes real. Solving puzzles and facing fears, they escape and strengthen their bond. I'm a fan of this style, but it's still hard to see the difference between this and the anime one. To me, they look almost identical. This one is Cyberbot, which looks the same thing as Cyberpunk, and it looks the same as Retropunk. And the psychedelic style is really just cinematic with some funky colors in the background. And it's the same thing with platformer style, which is supposed to look like a video game, but ends up looking like all of the other styles that have realism in it. Futuristic looks like Cyberpunk, Cyberbot, and the rest of those cyberpunky looking styles. With just neon colors. The next one is Combat Game, which is supposed to look like a Street Fighter, so I'm really interested to see how this one turns out. Here's Superhero's Origin. A teenager discovers their superpowers. Facing villains and personal struggles, they embrace their destiny and protect their city. So this one looks nothing like Street Fighter, and we've got a lot of morphing going on here. Not sure what's happening. The gothic style, the grunge style, and the horror style all look the same. Along with cybernetic, cyber city, gourmet, luxury, abstract, expressionism, impressionist, pointillism, renaissance, watercolor, HDR, photographic, silhouette, vaporware, and architectural. All of these styles look identical to each other. The next video style is car game, which is supposed to look like the Grand Theft Auto series of games. Games. Really interested in this one to see how it turns out. Here's the hidden laboratory. A scientist discovers a hidden lab with advanced technology, facing corporate spies and ethical choices. They use the tech for the greater good. This one has to be my favorite so far, just because of the aesthetic look that's carried over it. It's not perfect, but I feel as though it's the most consistent one that I've seen so far. There's a bunch of different styles that continue to look exactly the same, minus a few color changes in the background. This one is strategy game. Here we've got fantasy game. This one is dreamscape. This one is kawaii. This one's Lovecraftian. This one is macabre. This one is metropolis. This one's minimalist. This one is monochrome. This one is stained glass. This one's techware. This one's nautical style and we have thick paper so as you can see there's a really consistent theme here across ltx studio many different styles look almost identical to each other this next one is block game which is supposed to look like minecraft three out of the four characters look similar to minecraft but not really i, I would expect them to be a lot more blockier and then you've got a completely human person right in the middle but let's see how the video turned out explorers discover an underground city Facing dangers and political intrigue, they bring its history and lessons to the surface world. This one turned out better than expected. It was the one example where it ended up actually making the majority of the consistent characters look like they were from Minecraft. But you still got this guy, got this going on as well. The next style is Shadow Box, which looks like it's though it's handcrafted figures inside of a box or inside of a picture frame. Here's the Haunted Carnival. Visitors to a carnival find it haunted. They uncover its dark past and free the trapped souls turning the carnival into a place of joy. Well, not entirely consistent. I still enjoy this one because of the paper style videos that it can create for kids. Like some of the other ones, there's not a lot of movement going on. It's just the background that's moving. When it comes to which video styles are the best, if you're looking for a visual aesthetic that's animated, I would recommend either the anime one, car game, or the block game styles. If you're looking for a style with realism, just stick with cinematic or standard. You can just forget all of the rest. And if you're looking for a lot of the neon funky colors, any of the cyberpunk, cyberbot, neon punk, any of those ones will do. I recognize LTX Studio is not perfect, but none of the AI generators are at this point, and I'm confident LTX Studio will continue to improve its platform in order to compete with its competitors. But I'm curious though, which of the video styles that I've shown you are some of your favorites? Do you agree or disagree with my recommendations? I want to hear about it all in the comments. And if you're looking to learn more about AI tools where you can create images, create videos, and create music, or just to improve your workflow, I have content popping up that you can click on right here.